all right so welcome back friends hi i'm lita and i read cards um i want to start off today quickly by saying thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel and that has rolled with me the song some of you have been with me uh through my different phases trying to figure out what kind of readings am i going to do on here what kind of cards you know what kind of oracles am i going to use on here can you turn it down a little bit please um and also, uh, even name changes some of you have gone through. Okay, so I am going to be doing some different things on here. Um, I will be using uh, mostly Oracle cards. I will be making some new decks. I, I am uh, cleaning up my ideas right now. But um, at any rate, today's reading is going to be Who Are They Really? Okay. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I'd like to take a moment to invite you to be my bae, to be my video bae. Okay, go on. Wife me up. Hit the subscribe button, all right? Then that way you'll know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and who I'm doing it with, okay? And um, if you'd like to donate, the links will be down below. And uh, like I said earlier, I won't be doing... Uh, private readings anymore but if you'd like to donate the link is still below also follow me on instagram <coughs> nigh n-i-g-h underscore immortal okay all right and let's get to choosing so we got hold on let me show y'all that ain't that ugly but cute okay all right so we got four groups here can you see them all okay you can see them all now um, group A, Group B, Group C, and Group D. And remember the question is, who are they really? Okay, Not the face that they're showing you, but who are they in the, the core of who they are, the essence of who they are, okay? A, B, C, or D, okay? And if y'all are ready, okay, so if you're not ready, go ahead and pause. If you are ready, let's go ahead. Once you pick your um, choice, you can look down in the description below and find the time stamp so you can just zoop, skip right to your reading. All right? Okay, let's do it. I'm going to lay these on top of here so we can take up less space. So we can actually read who is this person. So the first thing we have is Homeless Puppet. I'm going to tell you off, um, off, th these are Rick and Morty cards, okay? Um, off top, I kind of feel like, uh, this person doesn't really know who they are. Um, I kind of feel like they kind of go with the crowd. Uh, they are whoever their friends say that they are. Um, I just feel like they kind of lack a shell. I don't necessarily believe they're truly homeless. They could be, but I don't think so. I think what it's saying is, is they don't even really know who they are. Okay? So we have the rich gentleman. We have success in love and the thief. See, here we go. So the way you see it, you think that they're smart. They make good moves. They're um, lucky in the love department, but in reality, this is all a stolen identity. Um, they're pretending to be someone else that they know, okay? They just put on the whole damn shell of another person that they know, okay? Instead of just being who they are. So I can, I can promise you the person, the version of them that you know is not who they really are. Let's see the last three cards and figure out, uh, what's going on here. The sickle. Yeah. The mice. And the fish. This person is absolutely cut off from all forms of prosperity, okay? Because they're just faking. Anything that they told you that they had, it's a lie. It's a lie, okay? Um, they also tend to be anxious and nervous. This person's full of shit. Now, I understand that sometimes people are full of shit because they have insecurities and they create these whole personas. I get all that. But we're not getting into all that. What I'm saying is, is this person is lying to you about who they are. Okay? And to me, that makes them full of shit at the moment. Alright? So, just know that's who you're dealing with. Somebody pretending to be something that they're not. Okay? If you enjoyed this reading group A, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And we're going to start with uh, group B in just a second. I need to have a sip of water. All right, let's get into group B. All right, let's see who is this person. Who are they? 
So we have the Amish cyborg. Okay, it says, remember it, Rick? Okay. <sighs> okay, this person is, I guess what people would call an anomaly. Um, they're old-fashioned, but they're modern at the same time, okay? They believe in the old ways. Probably someone that uh, believes in chivalry, marriage, uh, maybe even possibly church going, but on the opposite side of things, they are uh, tech, cyber tech, yeah, tech savvy. Um, maybe actually even believing more in science than religion, although they practice both. <coughs> Here we go. Every time I start talking, I get that dry, tickled throat. Let's see. Okay. So, I think I'm going to need to clarify a couple of these. I'm not quite sure how I see this. They are definitely a divine masculine. I kind of feel like right now they're sad they lost um they, there's a female that they lost um not quite sure if it was um a daughter a, a sister a mother or a lover it could have been but either way they just lost they lost someone and it's a huge uh, portion of their identity um Hmm. I need to clarify a couple of these. Let me see. Why is bereavement here? Oh, this may be something totally different than what I thought. How about why is rich girl there? Okay. For some of you, this man is absolutely a widow. There, There's you on the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this man is absolutely a widow. He just lost um, a wife or whoever it was he lost actually left him some sort of money. Okay. Um, unexpected money. All right. Uh, yeah. This is a love card. Uh, this is like a secret card. This is the arrival. I think that what the what the cards are alluding to for us is is that this person inherited something, a value, okay, and no one knows about it. They're keeping it under locks, you know, under lock, under wraps. Um, let's see. Why is the locket here? Just to be sure. Why is the Sorry, it's blurry. Why is the locket here? I don't know. Why is this? Why is the locket here? There's the grave again. Okay, one thing, and, and here you are again. Okay, okay. The first thing I can tell you is, is this person is really stuck on you. But they also lost somebody. They lost somebody. They are mourning, okay? Um, they also gained something. And they're in a position of deciding which way to go. They are leaning towards moving towards you and out of their misery, okay? I think maybe what it's saying is it's secretly they're in misery, okay? Although they gained money out of the situation, it's secretly they're in misery. And that's how we have the Amish cyborg up here. It's two things at the same time. It's like the person passed away and they're really hurt behind it. But the person also left money, which gives them something 
to be able to make new moves with okay so they feel grateful but they also feel at a loss at the same time so it's like they gain and loss at the same time okay and uh you know right now they are looking to move forward with you and that's who they are the core things i don't know why that one was so confusing but i guess maybe it's because the first card is a little confusing too okay so if you enjoyed that reading group b please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and we're going to move into our c group and see who is this person for real so we have tiny cowboy on a dog okay I think this person kind of boosts themselves up to seem, you know, really tough and strong, okay? And like, yeah, I'm a cowboy or whatever. But, you know, in, in reality, I think they're a little, little um, let's just say soft. We'll just say soft. Let's see. We have a living room. False person in meetings. There's a horse next to false person, so I think that's cute. Um, clover, ring, and stars. Okay. Okay, what the first part tells me is, is, um, so they pretend to be living very comfortably, okay, when, upon meeting people, okay? Um, they lie about their hobbies, they lie about where they live, how they're living, Okay, it's not out of malice, though, uh, but they do, they lie. It's, they'll tell the truth eventually. This is the type of person that tells lies in the beginning, and then they say, hey, listen, I got to tell you the truth. I, I lied when I said I had this, that, or the other, okay? Um, but they really, really want to has something solid and lasting with you um like you have their attention uh they want to be loyal and i know that because he's actually riding on a dog but they fib this is the type of person that tells fibs okay it's not necessarily malicious, but they tell fibs, okay? That's who they really are. So, if you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. I know that one was really short, but they didn't really give me that much to work with. Now, y'all saw how many cards I used, and it was all the same story. So, I apologize. Some of them sometimes are short, okay? And let's move into our last group, which is going to be group D, okay? The first card we have is Ghost in a Jar, and it says, ooh, I get it it's a play on the butler did it okay um ghost in a jar it's a play on one the butler did it i know i mean i know this is a supposedly a play on like dinner theater or clue or something like that ghost in a jar it's like catching something. I mean, essentially, a ghost shouldn't be able to be caught in a jar. It's not physical. Why would it be bounded by something physical? Um, you can see it. You shouldn't be able to see it like that. Um, how, how does I don't know how this relates to the person. Let me lay down the cards, and then I'll come back. So we have expectation, sad news, prison, bear, clock tower and the anchor okay so they feel trapped although they're not really trapped that's exactly what this is okay they feel trapped and they're not really trapped. this is the type of person that when something um happens to them they immediately freak out and think oh my god i'm stuck here i'm not gonna be able to do this i'm not gonna be able to do that but they haven't fully thought it through uh, i know that because i have expectation here and sad news so uh, they're filled with anxiety Okay, and their anxiety uh, holds them prisoner. All right, but what I can also tell you is, is they are a hard worker. Okay, very respectful of your time. Uh, they uh, build big things. You know, they they work towards big things. They don't. Sorry, guys. They work towards big things. Okay, they don't 
just work for nothing, you know. It's it's like they work hard, 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 but it's because they want to see big things built up and they want to become stable, okay? So this is a person working towards their stability. Uh, people have certain beliefs about them. I think that's one reason why we have ghosts in a jar. I think people believe they have limitations that this person doesn't have. And unfortunately, so many people have thrown their limitations out to this person that this person has actually kind of believed it but i think um when it says "Ooh, i get it i think you coming into this person's life allows them to see that that's just something that people said and they can break out this top line is totally different from the bottom line so it lets me know that there is a transformation okay uh there are things being built and there are uh solid foundations being made okay they're working towards a big outcome and a solid foundation okay or stable foundation okay so uh yeah this person is someone who feels trapped and feel like they can't make any moves but you're about to see like you're a catalyst it's, it's, you're about to see the flame just you know all of a sudden and things are going to pick up okay and that's who this person truly is so if you enjoyed this reading please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and this is going to conclude today's reading um i'm definitely uh i think maybe i may do one more reading I'm not sure. If not, it'll be tomorrow, guys. But I'm definitely going to be doing more readings. Um, especially since I said, uh, you know, I'm going to give up the uh, private readings so I can focus on the channel more. Okay? So, uh, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. It's almost over. And I hope you have a wonderful beginning to your work week. And I'll see you all in the next video.